Right. Fundamental theorem of calculus. Now, you guys don't need to know this in detail, just for your mathematics student. However, your extension one students, yes, you will be learning more about this, all right, with the relevant sections in your extension courses. Okay, so, the fundamental theorem of calculus. What is it? Well, just looking at the first quadrant. Okay, I've got some curve between A and B. Okay, so remember how we talked about the approximation method way back at the start of the unit, okay, and we took the rectangles in there, okay, and if we made the width of the rectangles smaller, we're able to fit more rectangles in underneath and get a better approximation to the area under the curve. Okay, so delta x, which is the width of your rectangle. Okay, so if I've made a rectangle. Okay, with width of delta x. As the value for delta x approaches zero, so in other words, you're taking a limit as the value of delta x is zero, we're going to get closer and closer to the exact area underneath the curve. Okay, and this leads on to the fundamental theorem of calculus. So, the integral from b to a of some function of x, dx, is going to be capital F of b, take away capital F of a. Right. Where capital F of x is the primitive function. Of f of x. So in other words, when you integrate your f of x, you are going to get a primitive function. Okay? The exact area under the curve will result from doing the integration and then substituting your endpoints of integration into the primitive function and do the difference between them. Okay? So you're doing extension one, you'll be looking at a proof of why this formula works. Okay, the rest of you don't need to know that, you just need to be able to apply it.